Just park the car. Oh, would you let go of my no, wheel? Just park the car. Hey, come on. Sit and watch it. Watch it. Yo, what's up, everyone? It's Godic Zero here, and today we're diving into some of the craziest crash outs in anime history, and I'm here to talk about those characters who are just wild for no reason. Like they wake up and choose violence and chaos every single, every single day. day. What a lawyer she fucking went! So let's, so let's get into it. First up, we got my boy Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. This dude is the king of crashing out. His whole purpose in life is to bring destruction and chaos. Like, seriously, there's no good in him. It's like crashing out is his only joy in life. Remember when Itadori ate Sukuna's finger? The first thing Sukuna did was tweak out and start wrecking stuff. Bro was acting like he didn't just get no diff by Gojo and Itadori taking control over his body, but every time he gets screen time, it's pure chaos. When Sukuna fought Jogo, felt so bad for Jogo, dude got cooked the whole time. Especially when Sukuna slammed his face into a skyscraper with a big old grin, that was one of the most violating moments in anime. Next, we've got Kenpachi Zaraki from Bleach. This guy lives for the fight. He doesn't care about anything else. Kenpachi sees a strong opponent, and it's on sight. No strategy, no plans, just straight up brawling. Remember when he fought Noitra? Kenpachi was laughing and enjoying every second, even when he was getting cut up. That's peak crash out energy right there. Now, let's talk about Alucard from Helsing. This vampire doesn't just crash out. He throws a party every time he does. Alucard loves chaos so much that he smiles while turning his enemies into Swiss cheese. Remember the scene where he unleashed his level 0 release and summoned all his familiars? Bro was having the time of his life, surrounded by chaos and destruction. No one crashes out like Alucard. Then there's Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, especially during his Meijin phase. This dude literally let himself get mind controlled just so he could fight Goku at full power. Vegeta blew up half the stadium just to make a point. That's some next level crash out behavior. And the fight? Pure, unfiltered chaos. Don't even get me started on Isoka from Hunter x Hunter. This clown is wild and I mean that literally. Isoka lives for the thrill of the fight and doesn't care who gets caught in the crossfire. Remember when he fought Krollo in Heaven's Arena? The whole place was getting wrecked and Hisoka was loving every second of it. This dude defines chaotic energy. Lastly, we've got Light Yagami from Death Note. Now, you might think, Light's not a crash out, but let me tell you, when he gets going, there's no stopping him. Light's crash out's more psychological, but it's no less destructive. Remember the scene where he wrote names down like a madman during his escape plan? That's some crazy crash out energy right there. So there you have it, folks. These are some of the wildest crash outs in anime history. These characters don't need a reason to go nuts, they just do. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more chaotic content. This is Godic Zero, signing out. Peace.